When my fest began, it was, first of all, my father and Jerry Glunz. Our dads together were standing in Munich at the Viktualienmarkt, and there was a maypole there, and they looked at each other along with Gene Schulter, and they said, you know what, we should have one of these in Chicago. We've got the Hofbrau Brewery to donate the figurines for it, and we put that up, and then that was when it's like, you know, if we put this pole up, why don't we do a traditional Mayfest party like they do in Germany? Everyone looked, looked around, and all of a sudden they pointed their finger at me. He says, uh, Joe, you, you're the one who can do it. And he says, well, I don't know if I want to do it. So that's the t you don't have any choice, though. So, so I, was, I was voted in to, to running it. It's a celebration of springtime, and it's one of the first events of the year that people could come outside, have a beer, have a brat, listen to music, dance, watch the dance groups, and just have a great time. It's grown and grown and grown over the years. Lincoln Avenue and Lincoln Square have been the nucleus of the German community for a long time. And there were a lot of German stores and restaurants and bars in the area. And so it was a natural place to have it. Many people in the community had German heritage. I think uh, what people often overlook is that uh, Germans were the primary immigration group to the U.S. from the early 1840s, really through the 1920s. And that was successive groups for about 80 years. My great-grandfather immigrated over in 1879 to escape the Prussian War with his neighbor, Oscar Mayer and Oscar Mayer contacted via telegram saying, you should come to Chicago, they had this big fire, it's a boom town. So my great-grandfather moved here. In many ways, Germans helped build Chicago, helped build the United States. German communities has a long and vibrant history in Chicago and has contributed significantly to the culture of our city. And today we have German clubs that are uh, still very active. There's probably something in the order of 44 of them in the city of Chicago. You know, it's very important that we get our young people out to participate in all these cultural clubs. The clubs, they teach the kids the German culture, the dance, the costumes, and that's what we try to keep going, to instill in the younger ones to keep the culture going. I think it's important so you know where your roots are from. German identity is a big part of my life, and I hope to inspire others to honor and to participate in the culture. You don't have to be German to celebrate the culture. Germans are known for their hospitality and anyone can get involved with the events. MyFest has a broad scope of people that come to the event and it's really great to be involved. What's my favorite part of MayFest? I would say it's probably the barrel tapping. Once the barrels tap, then, then the fest is underway. I always look forward, we have a, a good, good German import, the, the Hofbrau beer, which is fantastic, and the food is always extraordinarily well. We serve German food, of course, brats and Thüringers and potato salad. We make it exactly to my mom's recipe, so people love it and we keep making it. As long as they keep eating it and loving it, we're going to keep making it. If you come to the Mayfest, you, you can expect, hopefully, good weather good beer, good bands, and good food. Prost, and welcome to the Mayfest.